The Applied Theater Center had the opportunity this summer to lead the migrant education program for the upstate of South Carolina. Uh, we received a grant through the South Carolina Department of Education to provide this program to six different counties. These counties were Greenville, Newberry, Union, Spartanburg, Pickens, and Greenwood. Through this program, we were able to serve 71 students and provide over 137 hours of programming. It was really awesome at the end to be able to see how grateful the kids and the parents were with what we received. And being some transformations in the kid during the school year that you never know, that you being part of it, uh, I guess we are not fully credited for that, neither me or you, but we are part of that transformation in a whole to be able to help them go through. And it's hard to be able to help each and every one at the same time in a week with hyperactivity kids and providing meals and sweets <laughs> and having fun activities and it's still everyone learning and having fun. The Migrant Education Program's activities focus on a few goals. These goals include improving English language proficiency, applied math skills, self-identity and image, assertive communication, and healthy living and family dynamics. I think it's very effective for subtly um, convincing kids to do schoolwork um, that otherwise seems very rigid and boring, but when they're creating stories, whether it's based on their life and their family or a cat who lives under a house, like they get to imagine new ways to um, incorporate and use grammar and math that they never would have tried before. I think my favorite story, my favorite memory from the summer is when um, our co-leader Jackie, she gave the kids some riddles um, one day over lunch. It was like the first day of Monday lunchtime and the kids were obsessed with it. Um, they wouldn't stop giving each other riddles. So for the remainder of the week, the kids would take turns finding riddles on the phone and trying to like trick the other kids and be like, mm, here's my riddle. And it was just, that was a wonderful, really fun experience for everybody. We use various theater activities and arts activities to achieve these goals. Um, we have storytelling, improvisation, role playing, and other art making throughout the day. Um, a large majority of this program is held for a week at a time from about 9 o'clock in the morning to 3 p.m. in the afternoon. We were able to hold this program at a variety of churches, museums, even a family home and a university. And this summer program was awesome because we expanded, we uh, visited more counties to be able to cover more families that were really, really in need of this service. Once, because the kid be able to engage in summer activities and not only, um, not only academically, but fun activities that really you would see in their face how they were enjoying. In addition to the regularly scheduled activities that we had at the Migrant Education Program this summer, we were able to do a lot of other engagement activities, which included walking around the lake at Furman University, going to the Traveler's Rest Library. We were able to go to the Greenwood uh, Railroad Museum, the History Museum in Greenwood, as well as the Art Center in Greenwood. Probably the most noticeable and my favorite impact um, is how confident building this experience was. Um, these students were asked to engage in activities that forced their minds creatively to think outside of the box, to push their measure of um, storytelling and big idea building, especially with new words. Um, they also were asked to participate in theater games and things like that that forces them to sometimes be silly in front of their peers. So the confidence they gained from it was really exciting to watch and see. I also uh, really enjoyed seeing them learn new words and then start to use them throughout the week and just having that growth of knowledge was super fun.